Hi, welcome to today's class. Today we have this math Olympiad challenge. The question is bracket of in x plus 2 close bracket bracket of in x plus 3 close bracket bracket of in x plus 4 close bracket bracket of in x plus 5 close bracket everything equal to 15. What the, are the possible values of x to this challenge here? So yeah, we're going to solve for about 4 root to x. Some might be imaginary while others might be real root but we're going to solve for both the real root and the imaginary root okay so without much introduction we are going straight to solving okay so yeah we take a solution all right look at what i want to do here and i want to group them now but look at the system of grouping i'm going to apply here i want to marry this alongside with this okay and marry this alongside with this okay so let's take the first case scenario so we're going to have x plus 2 into all right x plus 5. now if we go ahead to open up the, this will give us here x squared then plus we use this to times this also so give us here a 5x then plus we come to 2 2x plus there this time this will give us our 10. okay so we can add these two together, right? So if we do that automatically, this will now give us here uh, x squared plus 7x plus 10. So let's keep this expression first. Then we take the second entity, this against this. So we're going to have this to be our right, x plus 3 uh, into x plus 4. Then if we open up the, this, we give us x squared uh, plus and we use this to times this 4x there plus this time this 3x there plus 3 times 4 we give us 12. again we can add this to this so this now implies about x squared plus 7x plus 12. now in other words the whole of this equation we have written or grouped into this format so our original equation first so now becomes our first one is um, this, which is bracket x to the power of 2 plus 7x plus 10 with bracket bracket x to the power of 2 plus 7x plus 12 equal to 15. Okay, now if you look at these two expressions we have here now, the only difference between there is 10 and here we have 12. So we're going to do a kind of a unique substitution here now. Okay, so from here, what do I say? Let, let, let's take P, let P be equal to our X to the power of 2 plus 7X. Now we cannot say plus 10, neither can we say plus 12. But I'm going to bring a number between 10 and 12. And what is that number? 11. So plus 11. Okay, so if we're having P is equal to this. How are we going to put the whole of this into this expression here? So I'm going to write this expression in this way whereby I'm going to bring out these things I have in here now. And at the same time, I will write this expression in such a way that I will bring out this expression I have in here. So how are we going to achieve that? It is easy. So look at this now. I'm going to write this as our x to the power of 2 plus 7x then plus so here is going to give us 11 minus 1 of course 11 minus 1 will give us 10 here i've succeeded in bringing the whole of this expression out from here now okay then this other side is going to give us x to the power of 2 plus 7x then plus 11 then plus 1 11 plus 1 will give us 12 and the whole of this year is what we have as a p year so everything equal to 15. easy i will let this one here yeah good so let's go ahead and substitute our p for this to this place and yeah this to this place so substituting this is going to give us here our p there minus one plus bracket bracket yeah p Okay, p uh, plus 1, everything equal to 15. Again, let's look carefully. What can you tell from this place? 
we can rewrite this expression we are having there now from difference of two square. Remember, what does it say? Difference of two square says that if you have your a um, squared minus b squared, this is equals to our a plus b close bracket bracket b sorry a rather a this a please minus b close bracket. Let's second this out here. Okay. So this is the difference of two square. Look at the expression we are having here. It's in this format. So we can rewrite this expression in this format here. So let's continue on this side of the bird here now. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So this now implies our p squared minus 1. 1 to the power of 2 is to give us 1. So let's just leave that there. This is equal to our 15. Send this to this other side, right? So we have here p squared is equal to 15 and then um, plus our 1 is that not so? so so if we add this this is going to give us here p squared is equal to 16. so we did the square root of both sides right so if we take the square root of both sides it's going to give us p squared equals to the square root of 16. here we introduce plus minus so this this leave the system so I now have a p is equal to plus minus uh, 4. So we have two cases from here now. So we have p1 and p2. So here we're going to have p1 is equal to 4 and p2 is equal to minus 4. So let's take case 1. Case 1. Recall we said let p be equal to what? x squared plus 7x plus 11. So let's bring that into the... Uh, Equation here now. So for here for our p equal to four, we're going to have our x to the power of two plus seven x then plus eleven is equal to four. So we can move this to this side of the equation to give us x squared plus seven x plus eleven minus four is equal to zero. Yeah. Okay. So if we have that to be zero. Subtracting this from this will give us what? 7. So we have here n to the power of 3 plus 7x there plus 7 equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. So let's go ahead and solve this quadratically using our formula method, right? Okay, so we'll have here x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac ac all over 2a okay so let's continue on this side of the bird and see what this gives us okay so what is our b we have 7 a is 1 and our c is 7 so this will give us the x will now be equal to minus right 7 plus the square root of 7 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 7. Everything all over 2 times 1. So this is equal to minus 7 plus to the square root of, here we have 49, then minus, this will give us um, 28, right? We have 28. Then everything all over 2. This minus 7 plus minus this from this will give us 21. So the square root of 21 all over 2. So we have two roots from here, right? So our x1, we can have our x1 is equal to, if we simplify this, so we're going to have here um, 1 all over 2 bracket our minus 7 there plus the square root of 21. Close bracket, okay, our x. 2 will give us um, 1 all over 2 into minus 7 minus the square root of 21. Okay, so these are the first two roots to our math Olympiad challenge. Now we'll go to our case 2. So let's take our case 2. Where's our case 2? We have our p to be negative here. So we have for our x, we're going to have x uh, to the power of 2, then plus 7x, 
a plus 11 equal to a minus or if we bring this to this, this is going to give us x to the power of 2 plus 7x plus 11 plus 4. Right? If we put the two together, that will give us 15. We have x squared plus 7x plus 15 equal to 0. This is equal to 0, please. So this is also a quadratic equation. So let's solve this quadratically. Okay, so let's continue on this side of the board. So from here, we have our B to be 7, our C to be 15, A to be 1. So this is going to give us X will now be equal to our minus 7 plus minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 15, right? All over 2 times 1. Very easy. So this will give us minus 7 plus minus the square root of here we have 49 then minus this time this so this gives us 60 all over our right, 2. So we we'll go ahead to subtract this from this right. So let's just continue on this side here. So this equal to our minus 7 the plus minus the square root of minus 11 all over to here. Here we can bring in iota. Recall that the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. So if we introduce that into here, so we're going to have this to be minus 7 plus minus the square root of 11 all over 2 or right, to our iota. So we have two roots from here now. Our x3 and x4. So let's bring our S3 and S4. So therefore, our X3 now be minus 7 all over 2 there plus the square root of 11 all over 2 iota. And our X4 is equal to minus 7, the 7 please, all over 2 minus the square root of 11 all over 2 iota. So here we have two imaginary roots to our equation. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this math Olympiad challenge. If you've learned something from this video, however simple it may be, give the video a thumbs up and you have a better way of solving this challenge because every time they yeah, drop it in the comment section because we also want to learn from the best brains all over the world. Okay, this is all I must TV. And if you've not subscribed, do us that favor and also do yourself that favor by hitting the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever we release an amazing video. Okay? So, thanks for being there. See you in our next video. Bye for now. Even as you keep winning.